G'day everyone, Damp Collectibles here, back with another MetaZoo Nightfall opening. So what we're doing today is we're just going to showcase the release of Index. Uh, my mate here today, sorry I forgot to introduce you. Oh yeah, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just going to showcase all five of the decks today because he opened up six of these boxes and uh, he managed to pull five of the decks from six boxes. So we're going to actually showcase the decks to you today. Uh, we're going to hopefully get some playing videos, and, like maybe in the next couple of weeks or something, we're going to actually burst the decks against each other. But we're not going to worry about the three booster packs in the back of each of the boxes today. Um, we are just going to showcase these and then we'll do a separate video where we open up all 18 packs. Um, so yeah, we showcased like that you get the rule book and everything last time and I showed off two of the decks that we got. Um, but today we're just going to focus on showing you the decks entirely. So I'll hand it over to you and you can explain everything to them. Alrighty. Well, luckily with this set, they've got this new pull tab idea, which makes it a lot easier to get into. Because with the um, first set, it was just sealed and it was very hard to get into. So there's our spider grandmother, the first one. This is the only one I've got a double of, so... Can just sleeve that up. And we've got a axe handle hound. Four of them. The new art of Gumburu. That's pretty cool looking to be honest. Yeah, I do like that one. Two, three, four, five of him. And we get our Luffalang. Three of him, Roperite. Six of him. Let me get a bookmark. Two, which is how many of these can you have in your two? Two. So yeah, you can use both of those. Some cards you can only have one of. We got Feign Death. New beginnings. Which is good that there's a few more draw cards this time around. Only one per spell book of that one. Bursting Spiderlings, which is an awesome looking card. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like the eyes and the like rest of the egg sack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, two of those. Lightning in a bottle. Well, that's interesting. I thought that wouldn't be able to be played in the. It's... it's a light card. Well. Maybe you can just use it in any deck then. Well, it's lightning, but it takes zero aura, so I guess, I guess I you guess could use it yeah, in any... I guess it's just yeah. a free play then. Yep. Yeah. Then we get our forest auras. And no terror in that one. Mm. Alrighty. That's a pretty nice deck, actually. Yeah. Like, honestly. So we got packs over there. I'm surprised we didn't get any of the spider tokens either. Because it says here on the spider grandmother, at the end of your turn, create two spider tokens. I'm surprised we didn't get some of them to True. use. True. Well, I guess you can use anything for those. Yeah. Uh, that out of there. Alrighty, so this is our Garson Invader deck. I reckon this is the coolest one. Yeah, he's a nice looking card. It's like a centipede alien thing. Trying not to damage the cards when I open this stuff. First one was so easy. I like how we oh. talked about how much easier it's made it. Yeah. <laughs> it really hasn't. I think we'll just have to speed this up in the actual video. So I cannot get that at all. So I'm to try I've kind of got fingernails. Yeah, you might have to. Just try not to get the side of the cards. Yeah. Really not sure what way it's meant to come off. I think it's 
I think it's towards, towards you. Yeah. It's like they forgot to cut it or something, though. So it's, it's, it's not sticking up properly. There you go. Got it on. Oh, you got it. Okay. So, yeah, they, that's how it should work. Close up at him. It's really hard to get the shine. Yeah. Like the hollow shines on these. On the ones with the darker backgrounds. So we got our air rods. Three of them. Crazy critter of Bald Mountain. Five of them. Poltergeist. Three of him. Veggie man. That's a cool card. Yeah. Three of him. Transfiguration. I like the art on that. That wasn't the first set, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's the same artwork. same effect or a different effect though. Yeah. Or a prowess. Two of them. I'm guessing two bookmarks, yep. Another new beginnings. Lightning in a bottle. Four of them. Meteor shower, that's a cool one. That's a lot more colourful than the first one. Yeah. And then we get our cosmic auras. Say so that's probably I don't know, and then we get some lightning auras. So it's a bit of a split deck, I guess. Yeah, because the actual gas and invade is a lightning card. Yeah. Like a light card or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's what I thought when you took it off and um, air rods was there. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's much point keeping track of which packs come from which box. They're all going to be release event box packs for our next video. Ooh. Alright, so there's my double. So I'm not going to be opening that one. Let's put that back in with the rule book and the promo. But we'll still open those cards up. The packs. favorite it seems headless annie i'll tell you something i like about these too i like the nightfall stamp on the promo like the hollow card that's got the like almost like the pokemon pre-release stamps on them oh down here yeah, yeah. i like that that's a nice little touch i don't think the cryptid nation ones had that did they no i don't think so um might have to get you to try that one out again <laughs> It's just not happening. This one looks even worse. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, that one was easier to get, but it was definitely not cut properly. I nearly want to use the, the knife to get it under there a lot easier, but I also don't want to ruin the edge of the card. Yeah, that's... So the old fingernail's got to be the trick. I think so. Oh, what are you doing? There you go. Not really cut properly. Next time we'll perfect it, hopefully. A closer up look at Headless Annie. Such a good looking card. Yeah. Red handprint in the back makes it. That one. Yeah, I'm okay. surprised um, Bloody Mary wasn't in this set, to be honest. Yeah, there's a card of her coming in the fan art. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Vote for that, yeah. Got like that graffiti sort of look to it. Yeah. I think that's nice. I think there was seven of them. And we got a fireball. Mm -hmm. So this is a fire deck. That's got a yeah. card in it though. Is it water? Uh, or ice? That's frost. Yeah. Yep. Icy path. Yeah. 
I'm gonna jack o' lantern bomb. Unholy fire. Aura prowess. Probably two bookmarks and a new beginnings, yep. Exquisite stew. Flame auras and probably ice auras. A frost aura, yep. Another one of those, only three. Yeah. Alrighty. So, what are the other two decks? Are they like um, like a darkness one, I'm guessing, and mm. then an ice one? Like a full ice deck or something? Don't think there's a full ice deck. This one is... Oh, maybe there is. Yeah. Okay, so this one's the frost... Frost one. There we go. Got it. Is that Cheno? It's like a Yeti. Yeah. It's cool. Like the dude from Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Look at Amy Cook. Lakeworth Monster. The new art of him. Koala Palak. I'm going to guess. Mm. Frostbite. It's Mermaid Shimmer. Kind of slightly different version to Mermaid Scales. Two bookmarks, new beginnings. Iceberg. Lake. Winter. Frost Aura. Looks like Water Aura at the back. Yep. Is the lake with monsters still only, you can only contract him when the lake's in play? Uh, you can have a check if you want, I'm not too sure about that. Because I think that's what the first one was. Oh no, he just gets a boost when there's lake oh, in yeah. play. It's an extra attack. I like that they've changed, um, like it now says like if they get more life or if they get more attack as well. Like the attack's just regular, but if they get life points back. Oh, it actually it's has that the, separate. Yeah. Yep. It's our last little guy, Mocha Vampire. Oh, that actually looks a lot nicer than I thought. Yeah. I like, like the, the green. colors. Green, purple, orange, black. So this is the last one? Yep. Yeah. Nice. This one feels like it wants to go, but it's like right on the edge. Yeah, I've nearly got it, but you might be able to get it better than me. Got it. Okay. It's not great, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's real thin, that one. Okay, there we oh, go. It came off better. So there he is up close. We got our Beast of Bladenborough. This is a dark deck. Ludwig. Vampire Mercy Brown. That's a cool card. Yeah. Bloodlust. I like anything with the Chupacabra. Morpheus. That's a different art from the first one. Yeah. From the Crypto Nation set. We got Nightmare. Which is nice. I'm not sure if that's uh, only in this deck. 
Well, I think it's in the set of art. Okay. I think it's it's like an uncommon now, isn't it? In here it says common. common. Yeah. Uh, aura prowess. Bookmark. Index. Oh, so that one we haven't had in the other decks. I don't think. Might be, um, might be like harder to get some of the beasties out of your deck in this one. Yeah. It looks like a lot of draw cards and yep. stuff like that. And quite a few spells. Try the war cry. Dark aura. That'll probably be it. Yeah, I know. And some spirit aura. I still love that. The yeah. Walking Sam sitting in like the windowsill. Yeah, that is good. So guys, Alrighty. that was all five of the decks. We're gonna do a showcasing of videos of these though. Like, it's a pretty fun game to play. So we're gonna try to show it off to you guys to maybe try to encourage people to get into MetaZoo because like, it's a fun game. It's got pretty good artwork. I know a lot of people aren't sold on like the artwork and some people aren't sold on like the play style and everything like that. But yeah, to be honest, it's, it's pretty fun to play. Me and my mate have had, like, what, two or three sort of trial games with some of the Cryptid Nation. Yeah. Ones. It, it was a lot of fun. So we're going to try to bring that to you guys, though, and make it, make sure we, we're giving this game a bit of love, I guess, like showing it off, rather than just being those people that just continuously open packs. Um, but if you liked just us showing us, like, showing the decks off, so you can like look at the cards and all their effects and everything. Let us know because we we're probably going to do it with the theme decks, which are up the back here. We're probably going to do it with them as well because um, some of those look pretty nice, and I'm pretty interested to see what the hollows and stuff look like. But um, if you like the video, guys, let us know. If you didn't like it, let us know. If you got anything you want us to change, let us know. Uh, but other than that, we're going to end the video here and. We're probably going to straight away film this, but it'll come up in another few days or something. We're going to open up all these packs that came with the release boxes now. So, hope you guys had a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And, yeah, see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.